10 months to the day since Amish teenager Linda Stolzfus disappeared in Lancaster County, a major development in the case. Police say they have found human remains related to the search. I, I can picture her calling for her, you know, her mom or her dad, and that's, you know, that could have been my daughter just as easy. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Evan Forrester, a family member of Linda Stolzfus, telling us that police have found her remains, although officials have not confirmed that tonight and say it could be days before we know for sure. But here's what we do know at this hour. Police say they have found human remains while continuing their search for Linda Stoltzfus. Stoltzfus is the 18-year-old Amish girl who disappeared in Lancaster County 10 months ago today. Her uncle, Mervyn Fisher, told us that it is her body that investigators discovered. However, the Lancaster County coroner says they cannot confirm the identity of the remains yet. The past hour, we've also confirmed that those remains were found near the place where the suspect in the case, the man you just saw on your screen, Gusto Smoker, worked. Our Fox 43 team coverage begins with Grace Griffithson, who's been covering the case since the beginning. And Grace, you spoke with the coroner tonight. Have, you have more details on what you found out. Yeah, good evening, Evan. Within the past hour, we were able to confirm that members of the Pennsylvania State Police, the FBI, East Lampeter Township Police, and the Lancaster County Coroner's Office discovered human remains here in Gap near Dutchland Incorporated. Now, those remains have been taken to the Lancaster County Coroner's Office, where preliminary studies are underway. However, a forensic evaluation will have to be done before the Lancaster County County coroner can confirm if the remains are indeed Linda Stoltzfus's. Now, a family member has said those remains are Linda Stoltzfus's, but again, the Lancaster County coroner, without a doubt, cannot say they are until that forensic evaluation is completed. Multiple members of the Amish community on foot and in buggies travel to Linda Stoltzfus's house in bird in hand. Fire police on Beachdale Road nearby asking people to give the family privacy. Um, we see these, these girls and, and boys out every single day. They're friendly. We talk to them. Um, most of our neighbors are Amish um, and it's a great community. And we just, we felt that we wanted to make sure that justice is, is served and I hope it is. The Stoltzfus's English neighbors say they have been very invested in the investigation, which stems back to last Father's Day, when Linda never returned home from church. It just because it's our community, we only live, like I said, a few miles from where she is, um, where she lived. We felt like it was almost like, you know, one of our relatives. The man accused of her killing is Gusto Smoker of Paradise Township. He lived at this apartment complex off Lincoln Highway. Law enforcement charged him with the murder back in December after they say they had compelling DNA evidence linking him to the crime. They say they discovered Smoker's DNA on Linda's stockings. Police say photos and video surveillance taken from the area in which Linda was last seen link Smoker's red Kia Rio to the crime. Authorities are expected to release more information Thursday morning. We'll, we'll be watching and we'll be keeping track and we'll be praying for the family. Again, this is, an, this is the area in which human remains were found. Now, a full autopsy on the body will, will start on Friday. The coroner says it could take days or weeks to complete it. It all depends on the condition of the body. A couple things can actually affect it. That's temperature and moisture. They will rely on DNA if they cannot get an ID with identifying marks. In Gap, Lancaster County, Grace Griffithson, Fox 43 News.